Mindfulness is moment-to-moment embodied awareness with attention and curiosity while letting go of judgment. Mindfulness meditation presents us a direct path that leads to the realization of our deepest nature and the potential of being conscious and fully alive in mind and body. The following meditation practices assist us in refining our attention, balance our emotional states, open the heart, and probe into the nature of awareness so that it brings us a greater sense of well-being and well-flourishing. The first meditation. Take a comfortable sitting position either on a cushion or chair, and take your seat with dignity, with a straight back to stay awake, and let your belly relax. Bring awareness to your face and body, and notice if there's any tightness. See if you can breathe awareness wherever there is contraction or rigidity. Soften your muscles and eyes and let your face be relaxed. Maybe even allow for a smile. Allow gravity to take over. There's nothing to do, nowhere to go, just as being here, quiet and relaxed. Settling your whole body in its natural state. Take three slow, deep, gentle breaths through the nostrils. As you inhale, breathe deeply down the bottom of your abdomen, into your diaphragm, and finally into the upper chest. Then release the breath fully, without forcing it out. See if you can do this three times, noting the sensations of the in and out breath. And just keep on breathing fully, not too tight, not too loose. Let your awareness be at ease, releasing all your cares and worries. And simply drop in on yourself into this present moment the only moment there is. Let your body be as still as possible and keep the belly soft and relaxed. Take this position of strong back and soft front.
Maintaining focused attention is vital for meditation and for virtually everything we do throughout the day. This meditation practice allows us to shift from a conceptual, compulsive and fragmented mode of awareness to one of deeper simplicity, moving into a witnessing and observing mode. You will notice thoughts and sensations emerge pass before you and then fade away. We don't push them away or identify with them or respond to them emotionally. We just notice the beginning, the accumulating and the dissipation of any sensation or thoughts When you get carried away by thoughts or tend to space out, gently bring your attention back to the breath at the tip of your nose or upper lip. Meditation helps us to become more spacious and within that spaciousness comes a sense of openness and ease. As your attention becomes more vivid, the turbulence of the mind subsides. It is not uncommon in the beginning of meditation practices to be surprised by the sheer number of thoughts appearing in our internal landscape. We call them cascading thoughts. We don't push them away, feature them in a special way. We just notice the beginning, middle and end of each one. No need to worry. Another thought will surface. If possible, avoid dwelling on the things that arouse hostility, irritation, negativity, craving, anxiety, and grasping. Our brains are an anticipatory construct always looking for something else and therefore we use our minds to regulate and monitor the flow of energy and information. At the same time, we let go of any internal commentary, mental analysis or conceptual elaborations. And instead, we go back to the breath, which, like an anchor, settles the mind stream quietly. With this practice, we are learning to take a holiday from compulsive thinking, cultivating a Teflon mind a mind to which nothing sticks. The more we practice, the more we become intimate with our body, our mind, our values, and a sense of peace and contentment arises.
I will now tell you about a place that you can go and maybe experience awareness more deeply. The mind is like an ocean. And deep in the ocean, beneath the surface, it's calm and clear. And no matter what the surface conditions are like, whether it's smooth or choppy or even a full-strength gale up there, deep down in the ocean, it is tranquil and serene. From the depth of the ocean you can look towards the surface and simply notice the activity there. Just as from the depth of your mind you can look up at the waves, the brain waves at the surface of your mind, all that activity of mind, thoughts, feelings, sensations and memories. Enjoy this opportunity to just observe those activities at the surface of the mind. It is always helpful to let your attention go back to the breath and follow the breath to reground yourself in a tranquil place in the deepest depth of your mind. From this place, it is possible to become aware of the activities of the mind without being swept away by them. We can discern that those thoughts are not the totality of who we are. That we are more than just our thoughts, more than our feelings. You can have those thoughts and feelings and just be able to notice them with the wisdom that they are not your identity. They are simply part of your mind's experience. For most people, just naming the type of mental activity, like feeling or thinking, worrying, maybe obsessing, can help allow these activities of the mind to be noted as events that come and go. Let them gently float away and out of awareness. This meditation practice is a new way of knowing, using what we call beginner's mind, observing attentively and staying open to the unknown, the paradoxical and maybe even the inconceivable by using informed flexibility and curiosity. Mindfulness brings greater insight, stability, and a way of being in awe with one's life.
And this concludes the first meditation.